welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Joining us now to review some of the headlines making the front pages of today's newspapers from around the world is our in-house analyst, Emmanuel Ifeni. Good morning, Emmanuel. Good morning, OG. Hi, Emmanuel. <laughs> Good morning, Ruben. You. Thank you for joining yes. us. Yes, let's quickly go to the these day newspapers. Okay. Backed by governors, APC state chairman move against direct primaries. Direct or indirect primaries. Still the main issue, showdown looms, crisis imminent within the APC. But despite uh, the threats, the chairman met yesterday and uh, they are making their stand okay. that um, they are all for the uh, indirect uh, primaries, as it were. But this day is also reporting that perhaps the party is looking at the matter once again in order to avert a crisis that may split the party down the line. And this day is reporting that the National Working Committee is being forced to revert to earlier position that only presidential candidate of the party will be direct, will be elected through direct primaries. Other states they choose whichever uh, uh, system they prefer, direct or indirect. But let's move over to just some of the newspapers, uh, Nigerian newspapers, quickly. Uh, Daily Trust, still the same story. APC state chairman back governors on indirect primaries. Then uh, uh, the punch has the same story. But above the masthead, we have a story there. Buhari accuses media of uninformed reportage of farmers headers crisis okay. i don't know how the it's always convenient to blame the messenger yes the messenger when we report what we see what happened on the ground now vanguard the same lead story about uh, uh, apc's direct primaries talking about governors aspirants move against or show but above the masthead postings southern middle belt leaders kick as top presidency official summons acting DGDSS. Okay. There are moves by some powerful individual within the presidency to ensure that the DSS DG, the acting DG, does not continue. But the changes he has made in recent times so reflect, reflect professionalism, which the directors of the DSS are to confirm today or tomorrow, is also being put on the line. Okay. And the uh, middle bed uh, leaders with uh, Yinka Dumaki and uh, uh, Basi Henshaw of this uh, South, uh, South uh, People's Assembly are making comments that if it's removed that they will kick against it. All right. Do you have any foreign news? Yes. Okay. Let's, um, I think let's just look at uh, uh, Daily Mail. I think this will interest anybody anywhere. Yes. Is any child safe online? It's a question. Thousands of youngsters are in danger of being groomed, exploited, and blackmailed by sexual predators on the internet. And the Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, is giving this warning. He'll be making a statement today. Okay. 80,000 80, pedophiles. 80,000 or 800,000? 80,000 pedophiles okay. are on the web. Wow. And it poses risk to children. And the reports of online child abuse went up by 700% in five years, from 10,384 in 2012 to 82,100 last year. All right, let's hope that that report comes out. So Thank between you so access much, Manuel, to the internet and protecting the children. Yes, I, I mean, something has to be there's done. a role for parents there. Yes, <laughs> role for parents and also the yes. tech giants to take down some of these uh, and, uh, offending websites. Thank you very websites. much, Emmanuel. Yes. Well, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching from our entire team here in Lagos. Enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.